Hello YouTube, welcome back to your main app TV. Today we are going to be adding some depth to this hair. As you can see in this clip, the ends of this person's hair is a little bit too light. It's the winter time and you're going to give her some low light. So what I'm going to start off doing is this person has some highlights, um, balayage highlights in her hair, which kind of looks um, brassy and also uneven. Pretty much this is a color correction. And I'm going through her hair right now, sort of trying to detangle it. And I'm going to cut off her ends a little bit. Her ends are kind of damaged. She has curly hair. And her ends are all over the place. So I'm just pretty much trimming off her ends really quickly to get them back to a more healthy state. And I'm just going to um, apply some color to her roots. So that I can bring her from her dark natural days into at least a level 5, 6. So her haircut is completely done in this clip. Um, and I am mixing up Paul Mitchell, the color 6, in, into the bowl. I'm going to be using um, Paul Mitchell 30 volume developer. So I can pretty much cut through her dark natural roots and get her to a, at least a level 5. So I can kind of match out some of the low light pieces in her hair. So I'm mixing the color up and I'm just going to be applying to her roots. And ensure that I can bring her or give her some depth as expected or which I've been talking about. So I am applying the color now. I've already applied the color to about three, three of her um, quadrants already. And I'm doing the last quadrant. I'm taking very small sections and showing the color is saturated through each section so I can get the dark face that she has and get it to be lifted. Take me from the work of the enemy. Bless my mommy or my family. Seven. I know I know they go to church But I believe your wonder works See me true, I want your favor So I pray mommy go go get Jessica Mommy go go Mommy go go get Jessica Mommy go go Mommy go go get Jessica Mommy go I washed her hair out and her hair looks so much better with the haircut And now I'm gonna tackle her highlights and bring them up. So the nape of her hair, I started, brought some of her highlights up and in between every highlighted section, which where I'm using more of the balayage technique to do her highlight, I have some low lights in between. I'm using 6N from Paul Mitchell and this time I'm doing, I'm using um, 10 volume. So as you can see in this clip, I am going through the ends and saturating with the color so I can make those pieces darker because her hair was just too light in between. And I'm using foils to isolate the sections and um, just going up and adding some more highlights. So every, every section, every other section, I added some low light. In these sections here, I'm just going to separate them and then do bring the highlights up like I said before and I'm doing um, for the balayage sections I'm doing V's and W's and sometimes I'll highlight the whole section depending on kind of what um, I guess what what the look would eventually look like I was just pretty much highlighting so in the section I'm doing a V I'm saturating just the top part and towards the ends I'm brightening the ends up a little bit her ends are about level 8 and I'm trying to brighten them up a little bit so that it can look very um, nice and bright when I add the toner to them. So I pretty much went through all the sections. Every other section, I will add a low light and then highlight, a low light and the highlight. Same, same thing with the section that I'm doing too. I am bringing her highlights up since it's grown out. And brighten the pieces. She had a lot of orangey pieces in her hair, and her highlights were on even from whatever her previous balayage was. And so her hair just looks so splotchy, and I'm trying to fix it with this technique. 
so enjoy as you watch through it. So I did the same, the back, the same sectioning part and throughout the back all the way to the top of her hair. And then I did the same thing also to the sides of her hair. And also, of course, I did the money piece so that her the front part of her hair can look a little bit more brighter. But more so, this overall look was to provide some more depth into her hair so her hair doesn't look too light. But then she will have a highlight and a low light so her hair can look very even. Good. Mami go go kekesika Mami go go Father listen to my prayer yeah. My prayer yeah. Father listen to my prayer yeah. My prayer yeah. I'm a hustler, I'm a hustler I be hustle for the street, I'm not the kufu wadoba Dadaba, dadaba for words All I do is to drop my sweat Father God help me today You know I'm not lazy, I get rent to pay I did work so hard cause I get family to feed without the paper How we go eat? Father God help me today You know I'm not lazy, I get rent to pay I did work so hard cause I get family to feed without the paper How we go eat? Mommy go go, get Jessica Mommy go go Mommy go go, get Jessica Mommy go go Mami Coco, get Jessica Mami Coco Mami Coco, get Jessica Mami Coco Father, listen to my prayer To my prayer Father, listen to my prayer And I never chop I for shout, shout Cause they know they hear me talk Anything that could happen Then it be my fault If you take away my sugar If I give me salt After I was done with the highlighting And low lighting process I let her hair process for about 20 minutes I used Short Scuff Bland Me Bleach and Developer And I let it sit there Until I could see that it was light And I could see the low lights in there And as you can see in this clip You see the dark pieces and the light pieces in there and I proceeded to go and mix my toner and the toner that I use as well a color touch that I've talked about in my previous videos so I wanted to use it in this coloring section so you guys can see how it looks like I use T35 and also T28 and when I did the math um, about how much toner that I had I had about 5.2 ounces of toner and um, the mixing ratio for this type this toner is one part of toner to two parts of the developer. I did not have a dedicated developer, even though I stressed to use the brand and its dedicated developer. I ended up using 10, a 15 volume of Red Can developer, which I added some 10 and 20 since I didn't have Red Can doesn't have 15 volume, and I mixed it in there. So pretty much, I ended up using 5.2 ounces of the Willa Touch. A combination of the T35 and T28 equal parts and then I did 10.4 ounces of developer so the mixing ratio is one one is to two so I mixed it all up in a nice little mixture and then I applied to her hair and you know I did a nice little mix because you want to make sure that both the developer and the toner is completely mixed up and I applied to her hair so this is the process in which a hair I've applied I applied to dump hair and not really dry hair because this sometimes these um, toners can be drying um, so I just let it process for about 20 minutes and then I washed it out but you can see I didn't want her to be super super bright but I also wanted it to be a little bit brighter than what it was before and this is the wet relationship compared to the dry relationship you can see there's so much more depth in here it ends up much brighter, but then you can see her dark pieces in her hair. So this was the end of this color session. See me do, I want your favor. So I pray, mommy, go, go, get Jessica. Mommy, go, go. Mommy, go, go, get Jessica. Mommy, go, go. Mommy, go, go, get Jessica. Mommy, go, go. Mami Coco, que que si ca Mami Coco Mami Coco